What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to talk about these Jackery electric generators, power banks, battery backups, whatever you choose to call them. Several months ago I bought this Jackery 160. I've used it quite a bit and uh, it's very very high quality so I figured I might as well do a review on them. If you don't know how these work, these are uh, pretty much giant battery backup like I mentioned in the beginning. They are electric generators so they are extremely extremely quiet like almost silent they are so quiet uh, besides this little guy here jackery makes these in a ton of different sizes if you want to get a bigger one i went ahead and got the smallest one possible one i'm cheap and two and more importantly i am not using it as a traditional um, generator more for a uh, battery backup recharge electronics those type of things so the model I went with is the Jackery 160, which puts out 167 watts per hour. I also picked up their solar panel. This is the 60, <laughs> the 60 watt solar panel. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to go over the quickly go over the features of the electric generator, quickly go over the features of the solar panel. I'll uh, tell you about the testing that I did, and then at the end I'll tell you the pros, cons, and what I think of it overall. Before we get into the generator, let me quickly do my quick disclosure. Uh, I bought this from Jackery with my hard-earned money. They did not send me anything, so there is that. I will put some affiliate links down in the video description. If you're looking to pick up anything from Jackery, please hook me up. Use those affiliate links. Um, and hopefully I can find you a good deal. Last, the sponsor of today's video is Blackout Coffee Company. Blackout Coffee is located down in Florida. Everything is small batch roasted made right here in the States. Ships quick. The coffee, tea, and hot chocolate is absolutely delicious. The link in the discount code is down in the video description if you want to pick up some Blackout Coffee. Now this generator from Jackery is their smallest and lightest model coming in at only four pounds. On one side here it has a plug, a standard 110 plug for you. Uh, in the front you have three different USB plugs and one of them being a USB-C which is great because that's what my iPod uh, uses, iPad excuse me, that's what my iPad uses. The screen itself is gonna tell you several different things. On the left, it's gonna tell you the input of the, how much power is coming in if you're charging the device. Underneath is the output, how much power is going out if you are charging something. And then on the right there, you have a battery indicator to let you know what percentage uh, your battery is charged. On the left, you have uh, two more inputs. Uh, one of them is going to be for AC and DC charging, which both of those cords come with it as well. The other plug is going to be for the solar panel. Um, if you purchase a solar panel with it, that's where you plug them in as well. Uh, and then on the other side here, it does have a small flashlight. Do not expect the flashlight to be uh, a self-defense type flashlight and extremely bright and throw the light very, very far. It's more of a admin light, like I drop my keys, I can't find something in the dark and you're looking around. It's uh, a perfectly fine flashlight for that. As far as the solar panels, they are also very, very high quality. They fold in half, so it makes it a little easier to store them. Uh, when it's shut, it's held in place by magnets so they don't open accidentally on you. Has a very nice carry handle on the top. Uh, does have built-in stands, which is great, so you can angle it towards the sun. That's all built into it. And then in the back where the plug is, that runs to the generator, there's also uh, two USB ports. And again, one of them being USB-C, which is great, but that allows you to charge a device without having to use the generator. You can just use the solar panel to charge up your phone or your iPad or another smaller device like that. So let's get into the testing that I have done on this device. Just so you know, at the end of the review, I'm gonna give you a really, really detailed, specific, uh, details on the testing that I did like if you want to know the input and the output and how long and how many charges and all that stuff I'm gonna keep all those details to the boring because I uh, to the end because I don't think most people are gonna want to hear all of those boring details I'm gonna give you a cliff notes version right now and then all the specifics at the end if you want to hear them uh, most of the time I use this device at the range uh, for you folks who are new here most of my content is firearm related I go to the range a minimum once a week and this uh, device was very very handy for charging my drone many times. I charge my batteries and my camera a ton because they don't last very long. And of course, I use this a bunch to charge my cell phone uh, because I use that often to record and 
that battery is not great either. Uh, besides that, I've charged my iPad on here many, many, many times, at least a dozen times. I control and run my entire YouTube page pretty much off of my iPad, including editing all of my videos. So uh, when the battery gets low, this will definitely recharge the iPad a few times before it dies. Another time we used this a bunch was about, I don't know, Three weeks ago now we had a tropical storm come through knocked out power for a few days like a genius i lost the cord that goes from my gas generator to the the outlet on the outside of the house that outlet runs pretty much the entire house we have a good size generator couldn't find that cord so i had to run extension cords in the house like a noob uh, we pretty much just ran the fridge the freezer and a light i didn't want to run too many extension cords didn't feel safe so we use this device to charge all of our small electronics again the ipads the phones uh, my rechargeable flashlights to have a flashlight those type of things this thing came in clutch to charge those, charge those type of devices another example of how i use this is the last example of how i used uh, been using this device the past couple months is to charge my laptop i'm lucky enough where i can work remotely as long as i have a wi-fi signal or a cell phone signal to use my phone as wi-fi i can pretty much work anywhere which is awesome um, the only problem is my laptop only lasts like four hours and my workday is at a minimum eight hours so this device allows me to work remotely somewhere without power once my laptop gets low i plug it in especially on a sunny day where i can recharge the power in here coming out i easily have enough power to run my laptop for a whole day assuming i start the day with it fully charged it lasts all day along with this no problem and I can work anywhere I want. And again, if you want to get more details, more specifics, the inputs, the outputs and all that boring tech stuff, I'll put that at the end of the video so you can check that out. But as far as the pros, I'm going to say the biggest pro for me is going to be one, the quality and how quiet they are. Like I couldn't even get my microphone to pick up them running because they are extremely, extremely quiet. Uh, I like how they have both types of USB cords. Again, a lot of the devices are switching to USB-C, so that's nice. Not only that they have it on the generator itself, but they also have it on the solar panel. That is great. And I'm also gonna say a pro that it charges very, very quickly on a sunny day. None of these devices work well on a cloudy day. They are solar and they need the sun. But on a sunny day, they charge up pretty darn quick. Mine was five, six hours from dead and it was fully charged in that area. Uh, as far as cons, now I don't have any cons on Jackery. I don't have any cons of electric generators in general. I want one more of just uh, caution to give you a thought. If you're gonna use one of these as a uh, battery backup for your house, a generator for your house, if your power goes out, just keep in mind you are, uh, you are relying on the sun to power this device unlike gas. And if it's a cloudy day, if it's a storm, you may not be able to recharge the device and run whatever you need to in the house. So for me, I'm gonna keep one of these and I'm going to keep the gas generator. Um, especially here in the Northeast where it gets cold in the winter, I wanna be able to run that heat and not freeze. And uh, I, I don't wanna rely on the solar. I like having gas and I like having both. That, that's the best way to do it. So just a little word of caution for you. Again, the, uh, there will be some affiliate links down in the video description if you wanna pick one of these up. Hopefully I can find you a good deal. And yes, I did pay for this with my hard earned money. Let me thank Blackout Coffee Company who is the sponsor of today's video. All jokes aside, it is absolutely delicious. I eat, uh, eat. I drink the French toast, cinnamon French toast, whatever it's called, every single morning. That's my coffee of choice. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments. I don't care. It is delicious. <laughs> These are the other companies who support me with affiliate links. The uh, dis uh, discount code or the link to the uh, companies is down in the video description. I can't speak. Patreon supporters are sensational. Once again, the link is down in the video description. I am on three social media platforms because I got banned from TikTok. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and on Parler. Once again, the links are down in the video description. More important than anything at let me thank you guys for watching because it is greatly, greatly appreciated. Every time you like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification, share a video, anytime you guys do any of that stuff, it truly helps me out and it is truly, truly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Alrighty, boys and girls, here comes the boring tech specs. First uh, test I did was on my uh, camera battery, my cell, uh, no, camera battery. I was completely dead, plugged it into the Jackery. The Jackery started off at 81% and it got to a fully charged battery 
uh, in less than an hour. It was very, very quick. And the Jackery went from 81% down to 75%. So only 6% battery loss. So the first time I tested the solar panels, the device was at 75%. It was a fairly cloudy day. It was uh, mostly cloudy. So there were some points of bright sun and some points that were not. So in the beginning on clouds, we were getting 10 to 15 watts of input. Uh, once we got it to more uh, consistent sun, we kicked up to 20, 25, 30 watts. Um, so it, it started going way, way up. And at some points when the sun was directly on it, it was up to 40, 44 uh, watts of input in direct sun. And then it took about an hour uh, where the, the uh, battery went from 75% up to 81% in one hour of charging on a somewhat to mostly cloudy kind of day. Now on that same day, I let the solar panel go an additional hour. It got really cloudy and drizzly that second hour. So if you see here, the, the uh, input wattage went down to around 10-ish, but even still that second hour, because it had some points of sun, uh, we went to from 81% up to 97%. So in about two hours, we went from 75 to 97%. Next test I did was a day later. Jackery still at 97%. I'm charging my iPad, as you can see here. The iPad is down to 5% battery life. It is 3.40 p.m. when I start the test. Now, uh, Jackery's down to 76%, kicking out 22 watts of output into the iPad. We are now up to focus, 42%. <laughs> I promise it's 42. Focus, there we go. Camera focused, we're at 42% battery and it's a little bit past five. So we're gonna say about an hour and a half, the iPad went from 5% up to 42% and it was kicking out roughly 22 of watts of power. Another little test I did is when we lost power due to the tropical storm. Uh, we used the Jackery a bunch, got the battery down to 59%. I was trying to recharge it using solar panels on a very cloudy day. So we're only getting 4% uh, watt input. An hour later, we were up to 8% uh, watt input. The sun came out a little bit more and we were up to 64% battery life. So the battery life went up 5% in one hour on a cloudy day. Now coming back two hours later, a little bit more sun. We're up to 12 watts in that area. I was seeing 15, 16, 20. So the sun's peaking out 30 and we shot up to 81% um, power in the Jackery with that extra sun. All right, we are 100% battery on the Jackery, 79% battery on my laptop. Wow, that screen is gross. And we are at 1221. It is pulling 67, 70 watts of power right now. Check back in an hour. All right, we started at 1221. It is now 108. The laptop went from 79 to 98% in that time. And the Jackery still has 84% battery. It's been putting out between 20 and 30 watts. Thank you guys for watching. I think this is the last test I'm gonna show you, even though I will continue to use my Jackery a ton. Peace out.